read today? Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. Right. I know just the story. Sometimes it's difficult to get dressed, isn't it? Mummy and Daddy's always asking you, get dressed, get your shoes on. And you're just too busy having fun doing something else. Here's something to think about. This story is called Dinosaurs! Get dressed! And it's by Auntie Swade. That's me. I am a scary monster and monsters do not care about getting dressed and wearing shoes and brushing teeth or hair. I said this to my mummy and she smiled and said, okay, but I've met a lot of monsters and I don't see it that way. When I was young, my mummy said, we all lived in a cave and we could only come out when we learned how to behave. And that was cause ferocious beasts lived outside our lair and ate our toes and bottoms if we tried to go out there. That's not true, I told my daddy. And his sigh was deep and slow. I think it's time we tell you certain things you need to know. Once I didn't brush my teeth, a stinkosaurus smelt my breath and she slivered up my face and nearly kissed me half to death. That's not true, I told my auntie. Oh, Meseraptors, oh, she said. If your face and hair were scruffy, they would jump up on your head. Then they'd make a nest and lay their eggs and stay up there for weeks. The worst bit was the poo-poo that came oozing down your cheeks. Is it true? I asked my cousin, who's already turned 16. He put his arm around me and he told me what he'd seen. The spotty bodosaurus had a sticky tongue so rough she would lick you on the bottom if you weren't dressed quick enough. Is it true? I went and asked my neighbour, Mrs Jones. Ah, oh, yes, she said. The pterodactyl liked the little bones. So you had to put your shoes on so your feet did not get hurt. Sometimes I see a pterodactyl footprint in the dirt. I asked Granny and she nodded and she held out both her palms. Once a hooveraptor tried to suck the skin right off my arms. So put your coat on, Granny said, before you go outside because dinosaurs may be extinct but not all of them died. And I remember, Grandpa said, when dragons ate my school, gave them quite a tummy ache and didn't half make them drool. So you have to get there quickly because it scares them all away. And I believe the dragons might be still alive today. So now I keep an eye out when I'm walking out the door for a flying pterodactyl or a slinky stinkosaur. And now I get dressed quickly and brush my hair and wash my face because I'm pretty sure they're kidding. But, you know, just in case. Well, Ted, you're going to get dressed quickly now. Just in case. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe and like.